So I'm going to show you how to spatchcock a chicken. Now, spatchcocking is one of those things that the end result looks quite complicated, but it's so simple to do. So we've got a nice whole chicken here. Now, the good thing about spatchcocking is it creates a really even thickness of meat. So whereas this would take maybe, you know, an hour and a half in the oven, spatchcocking means you can cook it in about 40 minutes. So to start, what you want to do is just find the breast side of your chicken and you're going to turn it onto your breast side. And all you need for this is a pair of good scissors. What you want to do is you're going to cut out the backbone. And so it takes a bit of welly, but you should be all right. So again, down the side, following the shape of the nose, straight down. You can have a look inside the chicken if you're a bit worried to make sure you're going in the right line. And just crack through those little rib bones all the way to the end of the chicken. So again, I've just, I'm cutting down the other side, just the same as I did on that side. And you've got this middle backbone now you can see that's coming out through these ribs. Again, right to the end. Coming out the neck, and there we go. Cut off any excess bits of flesh that are holding it together. And that's it, so that's the only bit you've taken out. It's not very nice, but you can see there, we've still got the little ribs in on the side, that's what you've cut through. Now what you want to do is flip it back onto its open side where you've just cut, and you're just gonna push down using the heel of your hand, and you can hear the ribs breaking, but you just want to flatten him, flatten him out. So what you're aiming for is a nice even layer, so you want something where this is the same thickness as the breast there, so it's, it's going to cook like a chicken breast. You're going to be able to cook it on one side and then flip it onto the other side. So that's nice and flat now. I think you've got about the same thickness throughout. And to secure it, you just use a couple of skewers. This is so it doesn't sort of move about on the... Once you start cooking it, you don't want the muscles to kind of seize and flip the legs and things. You want to keep it nice and flat. So I'm going to start at the breast and just skewer through the meat. So I've come out here and now I'm going into the thigh, just like oh, through the skin there. There we go. And then I'm going to do one the other way to just, just to secure it. And that's all you need to do. Through there, try and pinch a bit more of that flesh on this one. There we go, through there keep the legs tucked in. So you can see we've got about an inch thickness. Now, what you want to do is marinate this. You could put nice oils, herbs, yogurt, lemon juice, things like that, and then cook this on a barbecue or a grill. And that's how you prepare spatchcock chicken.